Is what? it true? Can they cut off the dog's nuts and take the Oh semen my out? God. What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, here with Mrs. Double Muscle Line Bulls. And we're gonna do some more uh, dog breeding questions. All the comments and questions that you've put, you know, in all our videos, we're gonna answer some today. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> guys so it's Wednesday you guys know what that means some more dog breeding questions and answers so um, we're gonna get right right into it um, this is by mm Yang um, and their comment was uh, freezing in canine oh so this was from the, the episode where we froze semen from one of our stud dogs freezing in canine has come a long way the bulls and horse industry have been doing it for ages if your stud accidentally passes, you can have your vet cut his nuts off and send it, and they will pull what? from the freeze too. Pull that and freeze it too. Did they do that? Who put, you put this in the questions? Yeah, but I didn't know that they could do it. Like, is that true? <laughs> Listen, all the questions that get pulled from my episodes come from this one right here. So sh I didn't, I didn't even know we had this question, but or comment. Now but the real question. That is interesting, though. Is what? it true? Can they cut off the dog's nuts and take the oh semen? Oh my out? god. Okay. Well, we're gonna find out. Uh, I'm gonna have to get back to you guys on that one and do a little bit more research. That's weird. Anyway, um, this one is Muhammad Ali. Um, I feel like I answered this question before, but we'll go through it real quick anyway. Uh, my dog didn't take for the third time. Looks like she's absorbed the third time. Does anyone have any tips? Um, my tips to you would be: um, Are you doing progesterone testing? That's a key thing right there. You should be definitely doing progesterone testing. If not, that could be your biggest downfall right there. Progesterone testing. Um, have you done vaginal cultures, uh, a culture on the a pre breeding culture to see if the female has any, you know, a, a large amount of bacteria, the uh, bad bacteria? Um, the, the list goes on. So, those are things I would be looking at. Did you do a pre breeding treatment to maybe try to flush her out before you did the breeding? Um, need a little bit more information to see maybe where there's something that you got to tighten up on to try to make sure she gets bred but definitely progesterones and are you doing progesterones after you do the breedings to make sure that her numbers went all the way up um as well as i would make sure during the middle of her pregnancy or theoretical pregnancy that um do a progesterone make sure her progesterone numbers are staying high does she struggle to keep her progesterone numbers up it's quite a few things that can cause a female to not take so um I would, I would kind of need to know those things first, but those are just some things that you can be mindful of. Um, in one of the videos, they say, are those 15 milliliter centrifuge tubes? I bought a centrifuge and the 15 ml conical tubes did not fit. Um, this is from Boss Baby Frenchies. Um, I we use, yeah, we use 15 um, ml slash cc uh, centrifuge tubes when it comes to like spinning down semen and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure what tubes you purchased, but, um, and I don't know what centrifuge you bought. Um, but if it was a centrifuge from Breeders Hacks and, and the centrifuge tubes from us, then they, they should fit perfectly fine. The only time I could think of that it wouldn't fit is if you were trying like the large centrifuge tubes in, in a small mini centrifuge, then, I mean, that only holds like one cc centrifuge tubes. That's all I could think of. Um. You could always contact us, Breeders Hacks, and, and, and I could go further into it with you and show me um, what centrifuge you have. Anyway, so the next question, Ron Gage, what's the name of your multi-kennel that you use and what's the style that you use? Like the height and the choice because I'm I'm sure they'll have different kind. Yeah, yeah, so I bought those a long time on Amazon, believe it or not. They're called Lucky Dog Kennels. It's a four by four. Um, and all I did was attach them to each other. So they come individually. So you're gonna have to buy them separately. If you go back to my older episodes, I kind of have links and everything to where I got everything. Um, actually, if you even go to breedershacks.com and go to the information center, um, there's, there's all the links to where I got the kennels, the G flooring, all that stuff. I do a whole kind of tour, a little, a little bit of a tour. I gotta do an updated one because I've been doing some new stuff in there. Um, but yeah, that's where I got the kennels from, Amazon, believe it or not. I don't know if they have them anymore, but it's just a regular four by four, and I just attach them to each other. Um, 
Next question, Julio Perez says, how soon can you start using the neonatal suction machine on newborn puppies? Does it damage anything on the puppy's nose if you use it too much? Um, I, <laughs> just so coincidentally, and it's funny you, somebody asked this question, I have vets literally contacting me right now. They want the machine for newborn puppies, when puppies are just born, and they wanna get all the liquid, everything out of the nose, the nostrils, the mouth, all that stuff. Um, you can use it right away. Um, I just tell people, obviously, you're not gonna have the machine at the highest setting, leaving it on the puppy's nostrils for a half hour. That wouldn't make sense. So um, it's perfectly fine to use on newborn puppies. I've used it on newborn puppies. I'm waiting to have my next litter so that I could do more videos with it um, on you know younger puppies so then you guys can see. Um, Cause that's one of the biggest questions that I get. So um, yes, you can use it on newborn puppies to answer your question though. Um, next question. Um, this comes from Emoj Ajank Gamble. I believe I'm saying it correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. Um, they ask, what microscope do you use? Um, it's way better than the ones we used in school. <laughs> I would I would think so, right? You like the microscopes, right? Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're pretty high-tech. Yeah, they're pretty high-tech, you know. I mean, they're perfect for semen evaluations, of course. Um, you can find yeah. them on breedershacks.com. Yes, you can. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you can find them on breedershacks.com. They're, go they're, they're awesome. I, I love them. That's why I use them. They have the screen. You can use the optical vision. You can even connect it to your laptop. I haven't even shown you guys that yet. Um, but it uses like that RCA or whatever jack and plug it right into your laptop. Um, so yeah, they, they're great. They're on breedershacks.com. Um, oh, Teddy Chavez says, where do you buy the, the microscopes? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, Zentember says, can you do a video uh, on helping swollen paws and red itchy spots under armpits? I think it's an allergy. I'm trying to eliminate the items um, in the diet that may be causing it. Hoping it's not chicken allergy because it's my main staple. Um, a lot of dogs do have chicken allergies. Um, what I would say for swollen paws and red itchy spots under the armpits, that, that sounds like an allergy to me. The typical vet, I mean, most vets that I deal with, when they, they, they've told me when you see um, that pink, that inflamed, that, that inflamed paw in between the toes, it's usually an allergy. So um, what I would try is, yeah, try switching the food and see if it makes any difference. Um, you can try, uh, there's, there's things like prednisone, that'll help kind of bring the allergy down and you can kind of do a reset, but you want to see what, what's triggering that allergy. You want to see what, what's triggering that allergy. Um, like I said, I'll use meds if it's to try to bring the allergy down and do a little bit of a reset. Sometimes it's like you took the dog out and maybe it was like a one-time thing that they ran into and, and you don't know what it is and you just want to bring it down. Then I would use like a prednisone, dexamethasone, things like that. Um, you could get those. I always go with uh, caninepharmacydirect.com. Um, but rather than spending money on that first, you could always try switching the food, things like that. Anyway, um, the next thing, uh, French bull, French bred bulldogs. Can you send me the chart please for deworming puppies? Yes, I will send you the chart. Um, but as I've said in other videos, you could always go to the information center on breedershacks.com. Um, and this is for other people that, that also want to know where the chart is. And all my dosages and charts are all there. All my personal notes, all there. Um, Chai, Cho TV says, part two for breeding dogs for color. 101. I got gotcha. you. I, I, I do need to do a part two because it's been a little while since I shot that episode. It was a good episode too. Um, remember that one? It was all like animated and stuff. I like that one. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So, yeah, I got you. <laughs> it takes a little bit of time, so please be patient. Yeah, I got you. So, Jose Marina says, um, can I get a PDF of the puppy health records? Sure, I'll send you the link. As I say, though, it's also in the information center on breedershacks.com. This is for anybody else who wants the, the link to it. Um, just, like I said, go. I'll put it somewhere here. Go to breedershacks.com, go to the information center. Everything is there. It's dope. I made it myself. <laughs> a uh, pat yeah, a little pat in the back. Um, Jose Moreno also says, can you please list the names of the products, um, I guess, that they would need for medicine-wise? Um, what I would recommend if, if you're looking to purchase medicine to um, like have as a breeder to start out, I would go to Canine Pharmacy Direct and I would look at the, um, 
the dog breeding starter pack or something like that and it has like the meds that you would want to start first what you would want to start having first um that's kind of cool that they have that as well as his second question his third question was what about back-to-back -back c sections i all my dogs get c sections every time so um there's nothing wrong with that at all to answer that question as well there's nothing wrong with getting back-to-back -back c sections it's recommended for exotic bullies french bulldogs english bulldogs so you want to do nothing but c sections nothing wrong with that do them actually because you may risk losing puppies and potentially the female if you don't um let's see last of a dying breed says have you ever used the pre-breeding treatment or flush from canine pharmacy yeah it works it definitely works you know it's good it, it's good to have i would use it um essentially what you're doing is you know just hitting her with some light antibiotics to clear her out making sure that you know um, there's no super bad bacteria when you're doing the breeding so um definitely nothing wrong with that i do it um let's see uh, I believe I'm saying this correctly. Elise, Elise, uh, Elise, Elise, Elise says, um, have you ever had a false ultrasound reading and the dog was actually pregnant? Yes, I have. And that's actually why I, I really don't do ultrasounds. I just do relaxing tests. Um, I prefer it. That's just me. And I've done episodes explaining why. I mean, uh, you can do it at home. An ultrasound, um, there may be a puppy there and you missed it. A relaxing test, it goes over the hormone. Um, I just prefer the relaxing test. It's easy to do. It just tells me if she's pregnant, yes or no. Um, that's what I do. So I don't really do ultrasounds anymore. And then they asked me, how often do your dogs not take from an AI? Um, ever since I started doing progesterones, my dogs always take. It's very rare that a dog does not take. And that's because I do proper progesterone testing. So I can't remember the last time I had a dog not take. So that answers all the questions for today. Um, hope the information was helpful. Hopefully it was useful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. That's, and go to That's right. So, all right, guys, take care.